Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. 70 degrees out here right now. Cloudy skies. Actually, a few drops of rain hitting me right now. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon on and off. Nice little breeze blowing in from the Gulf here this morning. Close to low tide right now. About a half hour away from low tide. We'll take a walk down the beach. This is what we find out there this morning. Expecting a high today of about 80 degrees. any red tide no signs of red tide out here this morning that's a good thing looking good so far There's an osprey just ahead of me here on the sandbar. Getting a drink. Instead of in the trees this morning, there's an osprey right out here on the sandbar in front of me. That's pretty cool. Off it goes. Wow, that was unusual. It's probably headed back to one of the pine trees here. That was a neat little sighting. Great way to start our morning, our Saturday morning here. As you can see, we're pretty much socked in with clouds here. cockle shells out here on the beach. One of our little baby cockles. With the little cockle heart. I see another one. There's another little cockle shell over there. These are live cockles. So neat. That's so neat, the cockle heart. Let's put them back in the water here. No reason to take any live shells home. There's plenty of other shells here to take home. I thought maybe we'd find some sand dollars out here. Just 
gonna make my way down the beach here. I'm just offshore. Water's less than a foot deep here where I'm walking. Sandbar almost parallels almost the entire beach that I'm walking on out here. Thought I saw a conch shell buried out here. Oh darn it! It's got something growing on it what that stuff is. I've seen that before. I don't know what those things are. Anybody know what those are? They're kind of spongy. They're growing on this fighting conch that was buried in the sand. I have no clue what those are. Hopefully they're not poisonous. <laughs> have to be careful when you pick up a shell out in the water. You never know what's going to be living inside of it. The biggest surprise we ever got was we picked up, a, Roy and I picked up a fighting conch shell and inside there was a little octopus. A little baby octopus. And it stung Roy. Stung him right in the finger. And that's, that sting lasted for about a half an hour. they have some kind of venom when they bite you. I think they use that to paralyze their prey. But Roy said it was pretty uncomfortable. And this thing was the size of maybe a quarter. Its body, not counting the tentacles. Gosh, no shells out here. I thought we'd find some nice stuff on these sandbars. All we're seeing are the little cockle shells, little baby cockles at that. Really not seeing any big cockle shells. Usually we find some nice big ones out here, the size, oh, the size of my hand sometimes. But all we're seeing are these little baby cockles. Where are the sand dollars? Where are the sand dollars? Usually the sand dollars are on the gulf side of the sandbar. I'm not seeing any. Usually you can see them buried in the sand. You'll just see like little circular patterns in the sand. And that's usually a sand dollar. It's just under the sand. I don't see any out here this morning. Huh. Maybe further down on the beach. Found a lot down a little bit to the south there in area one on that sandbar down there. One day that whole sandbar was just covered with sand dollars. Well, I gotta get back to the beach here. The water gets a little deep there in front of me. Find a shallow spot to cut across. 
There's another little cockle. You can see its little siphon, just the end of its little siphon sticking out there. Little baby cockle. What do we have over here? There's a sand. Oh, darn it. They're dead. These are dead sand dollars. They're really, really soft. Darn it. Went to pick it up and it broke. So here's some more. These aren't alive. And they're really, really fragile. Little baby sand dollars. Quite a few of them when you start looking, when you look close. See them down there? Probably a lot more of them over on, just to the south of me. Well, there's more here. They're up in the middle of the sand, of the sandbar here. There's actually quite a few of them here. I didn't see them before. See, so here's one here. There's another one down there. They're all around, just buried, half buried in the sand here. Again, these are all dead. They're very, very fragile when you pick them up, so be careful. Nice little souvenirs, though. There's one down there. Another one there. I want to cut a cut across here and get back onto the beach. I don't know how deep the water is right here. Boy, these little sand dollars are everywhere. The more you look, the more you find. Just absolutely incredible. Over here. This is the north end of Area One, where I'm at right now. Water's about knee deep here. Where I'm crossing over. Definitely cooling down. The water is definitely dropping in temperature. A lot of people taking advantage of this low tide to walk the sandbars out here. A lot of them collecting sand dollars. Maybe we'll find some big ones out here. We're in area one right now. We started at the north end of area two and walked south down to area one. Yeah, the tide's not quite low enough to get out on this other sandbar here. It's still submerged. Right along here. I thought we were going to have a nice low tide. A super low tide because of that full moon. cloudy out here this morning it doesn't matter still beautiful the best thing is there's no red tide that is the best news no red tide 
That wind is coming in off the Gulf this morning. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't blow that red tide closer to us. It is offshore out in the Gulf. There goes a pelican. Good morning, Mr. Pelican. It's kind of flying right into the wind. interesting up here. I don't know what the heck this is. This has just gotten uncovered during our recent storms. It's like a shelf here. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's wood. out into the water and curves around and comes up onto the beach there. Definitely looks like wood. Yep, it's decaying wood. It must have been just a line of trees or something. I don't know what it is. See here, it's kind of spongy. Just comes out into the water. It's just a solid mass. Comes out into the water. You see it out there, and then it just kind of curves back around. Starts to thin out. Gets thinner here. back up to the beach over here. Very, very interesting. Goes out into the water there, curves around. He's back up onto the beach there. Some kind of wood. That's where we were finding the sand dollars, right over there. Just a little earlier. All those little baby sand dollars right along that little bit of sand there well, how's everybody doing today have you introduced yourself and said good morning to everyone Saturday folks some little sandpipers running around out there what are you camera shy I say some sandpipers out there and they take off <laughs> there's still two left out there
Well, yesterday we kind of bombed out on shelling. What about this morning? We're gonna get lucky and find something? Or has someone beat us to all the goodies out here on the beach? A lot of folks get started early here. In case you're wondering on how people get into the park before it opens, you can buy an annual pass to our Florida State Parks. And it gives you 24 seven access. Just get them at the front gate here at the ranger station. If you're looking for one for Delnor Wiggins. And there's some little sandpipers. Sand piping. No shells yesterday. I saw one dolphin offshore. That's, well, I see a lot of people up on the beach to the north shelling already already out there shelling hey when we came out here this morning one of the first things we saw we saw an osprey out on the sandbar with me that was pretty cool. Instead of up in the trees, it was out on the sandbar taking a drink. That was kind of cool. He or she didn't stay there very long. Boy, lots of little shells under my feet here. Lots and lots of little shells. Oh, mostly all broken. Yeah, there's a beautiful, beautiful little fighting conch shell, though. It's a really nice one there. Beautiful little fighting conch. Yeah, it looks like we are at low tide now. That tide's gonna start turning soon. Pelicans flying by out there. Somewhere out there. Where'd they go? There they are. They were down in the water. There they go. Just inches above the water. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Looking down to the south here. The sun is up. It's trying to peek through the clouds. Just above the trees. Right there is where the sun is. That spot right there. Having a hard time though coming out with all these clouds.
thought our osprey friend might have flown over here to one of these trees, but I don't see it up there. There's part of a little paper fig shell, almost a whole one, a little baby paper fig, darn it. There's something cool, uh, let's see what it is, what kind of shell it was, it was a lightning whelk half of it's missing look at that you can see inside of it there half of a lightning welt that's kind of cool shells down here this morning. Well, I bet the, well, it's going to rain this afternoon. It's going to be overcast, so I don't know how busy the beach is going to get today, a holiday weekend. I don't know. Don't know what people are going to do if they're burned out from Thanksgiving and Black Friday. I know I don't take part in that Black Friday ordeal. I think that's a bunch of nonsense. But to each their own. There's a little snowy egret out there. beach mice in front of me, <laughs> the little sandpipers. There's a dead mullet on the beach. I don't think that has anything to do with red tide. That could have been easily been dropped by an osprey. One dead fish on the beach doesn't mean there's red tide. And I certainly don't smell it. They're all like little wood chips, little wood pellets along the beach there. There's old pieces of trees out in the water and they're slowly, slowly decaying. And these little wood chips wash up on the beach. thing to look at, but it's not hurting anything.
I'm not seeing much of anything out here in the water. It's like ankle deep out here. See an occasional piece of seaweed drifting by. Very north end of Area 3 Beach where I'm at right now. The boardwalk is right there under that pine tree. The north end, that's the north end of the parking lot where that boardwalk is. south. Carlton's buried in that mess somewhere. Kind of hard to see in the trees here. I'm looking for some ospreys, but I don't see any. It's just hard to spot them without the bright sun. this beach dips. There's all kinds of dips here. Valleys, little hills and valleys. Of course our sandbars out here now at low tide. And you can still see up to Fort Myers Beach here. A little hazy. Good morning, Rob. Hey, my name's Ron and Heather. Let me... Hey, 
with some beach friends here to say hi. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? We're from Canton, Ohio. Canton, hey, how are yeah. you? My hi, sister, Heather, Heather. Hi, nice we, to meet you. We just got up here for the weekend. Oh, great. We talked about coming and seeing you. Oh, right? that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Yep. I wish and it was a little more sunny today. I know, I know. It was, we went to the sand sculptures yesterday. So it was nice. Neat, it yeah. was nice. Yeah. yeah. Aren't those sculptures just incredible? Did you, you have any the talent I, to do that? I, I've, I've only seen pictures of them this year. So far, I, th I thought that dragon was pretty cool. That oh, dragon yeah. that was wrapped around that castle. Yeah, and the bull. Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> but, yep, my, Peggy, my sister Peggy, we watch you all the time in Canton, Ohio. Oh, wow. That's great to hear. Yep. I love it when people come out here and say hi. That's so neat. Yep. We had, to do, we had to come out here. I want to donate a few dollars. Oh, gosh. That's... That is so there kind you of you. Wow, that is so Thank kind you. of you. I that appreciate is so everything kind of you. you do. That is so kind. We enjoy it. Thank you. So, well, I enjoy it. <laughs> you All know, right. it started out, I just started doing this to kind of keep people in, informed when they go back, you right. know, what's going on down here. Because a lot of people spend a lot right. of time, a lot of people spend their entire winter months out on this beach. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we, we enjoy it on up home. We watch it. Uh, well, look, look at them. are so, two, two different shells. There's a left and a right. You yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Right. The shelling's not too good today. I no. don't. I thought with low tide like this, it'd be great. But and and because it's low tide, the dolphins don't come in close. They stay out in a little deeper water. Right. But you never know. No. You never know. Every every morning's different. You know. I never You're know right. what's going to happen here. You're right. Well, it is so neat it, meeting you. Thank you. Meeting and, you. Nice and how long are you going to be here? We're going to be here until Monday. We're heading back oh, home just, Monday. Okay, just short. for the holidays. Yep, yep. just short. Yeah. Aunt, aunt worked at Wins over there, and she retired at 90 years old. Oh, wow. So we just come down to see her. And oh, that's sweet. So. My wife's from Ohio. I've got... Oh, yeah, is that right? Yeah. A little, a little town called Clyde. It's, is that right? Yeah, a little, the only thing that's in Clyde is there's a big whirlpool. In fact, <laughs> yeah. they make their washers and dryers there. Is that right? Yeah, wow. that's, if you're not a farmer, you work for Whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was a pleasure, mate. Same here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. That is so cool. That always makes my mornings when I meet people that have been following me from out of state, even from another part of the world. And they made a little donation. They gave me, that is so sweet of them. I love it. That's what I use to pay the phone bill. Without those contributions, I wouldn't have my phone on. That was the deal I made with my wife. Any expenses that I incur for these beach walks, they kind of got to take care of themselves. And it's really the foam bill and a little bit of gas. And every once in a while, I have to buy a new gimbal. <laughs> Seems like they last me a year or they get wet. I did lose my really good DSL, DSLR camera out here one day when I was following a dolphin in the water. And I have yet to replace that. But that's thousands and thousands of dollars. So, one of these days. So right now it's me and the iPhone and the gimbal out here. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it as much as those folks. That is so cool. Just bringing people together, that's what big purposes of these beach walks are is to bring all you people together that are watching. That's why I encourage everybody to introduce themselves, let everybody know where you're watching from. And a lot of times you're going to meet somebody that has something in common with you. I had two people watching one time and they lived just within blocks of each other, didn't know each other. I forget what state it was, but it was just, it was an amazing little story. They became friends. So that's why it's important to join in the little conversations here. Wow, they said they're ant. 90 years old, was retiring from winds. Wow. 
Wins Market. That store has been around for a long time. If, if you know Naples, Florida, you know Wins. You know the Wynn family. Sunshine Ace Hardware. Great, great family. I think that's what he said. Wins. Now that I'm thinking about it, he didn't say fresh market, did he? He said wins. I just saw a nice little conch shell somewhere. Where'd it go? Well, maybe somebody scooped it up on me. I feel bad though that the shelling's not that good this morning for these people. It's Scott, Heather. Just one of those mornings. A couple days now, not really finding many shells. The dolphins are staying out in deeper water. Rainbows. Julie said she saw a rainbow this morning. They are just amazing. Another one of God's amazing creations, rainbows. They are so beautiful. We see a lot of them here after our rain showers. We see a lot of them out in the water here, out in the Gulf of Mexico. Rainbows are another one of Roy's favorite things to admire. Not too long ago, we just had a really big one here. They did get a picture of it and posted it. This morning's sunrise, wow. It was just incredible. The sky just caught on fire. Only five minutes. It doesn't last long. And the color is all faded. But I did, I was able to pull over on the road this morning and get a quick photo of it, and I posted that. I'm sure many of you have seen it by now. It's kind of hard to appreciate unless you see these sunrises and sunsets in person, but I try to do the best I can to share them with you. There's a nice little olive shell. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no, not red tide. Just a little cough there. Another nice little olive shell. Oh, no, it's broken. seeing all of our birds they, they used to sit out here on this point over here I don't know where they went I'm sure they got spooked and took off so many people out here
Are you finding anything good? <laughs> Are you finding anything? Couple. I've never actually seen those little ones with. Oh yeah. Natural in it. Usually the open. Yep, the little coquinas. You want this? A little baby conch shell? You want that? Oh yeah. That's, That's a little baby fighting conch. <laughs> Has a there's, preschool class. Ah, yeah. there's a ton of sand dollars out on the sandbar down in area one at the north end. Oh, okay. I don't, but the tide's coming in, so yeah. I don't know if yeah. they're going to be there. When, there was a bunch of them, just little ones about this big. You have to look really hard for the sand dollars. They're usually buried. Oh, the one year we went out and there was like a sandbar and you could just... Oh, you, you just, just, you just scoop your hand through there and they're all over the place. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, here's a cool little shell. I forget what these are called. I forget what they're called. They're looking little things. Did you find something interesting? What's this? Um... Is that? is that a drill shell? I think that's a drill shell. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, it looks sure. like a drill, doesn't it? <laughs> you, yep. you know them more better than I yeah, do. I get, there's a bunch of them I get mixed up. <laughs> I'll just make something up. <laughs> there you go. Nobody will know because I wouldn't. There you go. See what else I can find for him while I'm walking along here. Maybe a maybe a little moon shell if we're lucky. Look at the difference. Look how high that beach is there. That's like a good five feet above from where I'm standing right up in there. It's amazing. Come on dolphins, come on by. Come say hello to our friends from Ohio. That would be so nice. Make my morning too. Nothing like a dolphin encounter. Oh. Wonder how the shark tooth hunting is going this morning. I hope they're doing better than we are on our shelling. Good. Any luck this morning? Yeah, we've got small. A couple small we've ones. Small ones. I'm not seeing much in, in the way of shells out here. It's kind of wow. It's uh, there's a whole bunch of shells up in the at the pass. Uh, really? Yeah. So what do you? Uh, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. wonderful. Yeah, a lot of friends came over and just sat around, watched football, ate, took naps. That's all it's about, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> have a good one. Good luck. All the shells are up at Wiggins Pass this morning. Interesting. Shall we go up there and check it out? Or is it too late? Did somebody beat us to them. Here's a broken sand dollar out here. Still got some really interesting patterns.
see if we find another one here. I'd like to find a nice big hole one. Thing about picking up sand dollars out in the water, just make sure they're dead. They are really fragile. A lot of people take them home, and by the time they get home with them, they're broken. Of course, you can buy them in the shell stores, but it's not the same as finding your own. This little point out here in Area 4 is changing shape. It is amazing at how... I mean, every day this beach changes shape a little bit. It'd be neat to watch a time lapse if they could do a time lapse every day from out in space. I don't know how often they take the pictures from the satellites. It'd be neat to put a little time lapse together of the beach. See just how much it changes. Wow, some sunlight. Sunlight. Loving it. Up in area four now by Roy's Pine Trees. We're on Roy's Beach. Lots of little slipper shells out here. There's one here. I've seen lots of little wormies and slippers. There's a little slipper shell. Flip it over, see how it looks like a little slipper. That's a little, possibly, I don't know what that is, if that's a little tulip. It's a little baby, whatever it is. Definitely a little baby. So many neat shells out here on the beach when you just stop and take the time to look. fighting conks. These are everywhere. You just got to stop and look. And you really, you really have to look close at the rocks that are out here in the water. Just yesterday, day before yesterday, our friends found an arrowhead. Doesn't look much different than just a rock sitting here, but when you look close, it's amazing. There's a lot of interesting fossils out here in the water. We've got some friends, Mike and Mary from New Jersey, and that's all they do is they collect fossils out here on the beach. But you just never know what you're gonna find embedded in one of these old stones that you pick up out here in the water. You find the skeleton of a fish, shells embedded in here. You just never know until you pick them up and look. Well, there's piles of these rocks out here, just piles of them. Get 
a little sun hitting the beach here. Beautiful. Just a little. That's all we need is a little. Give me one opportunity to snap off a quick photo here. Just one. Look at that. Look. Look at that view, huh? Beautiful. With the sun out, wow. It's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna last long, we'll see. What a difference. Now you can see the color in the trees. Beautiful. water while the sun's shining here. Show you how nice it looks. Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. No red tide here at Del Norwegans. That wind is hit me right in the face here coming in off the gulf and we're just praying it does not bring the red tide up to our beach here. It is lingering out in the gulf. So right now we're good. Look at that water. It's beautiful. Looking down to the south. This is North Naples, Florida, folks. We're at Del Norwegans Pass State Park new to these beach walks please introduce yourself to everybody here let everybody know where you're watching from everybody likes to comment on the weather where they're at I'm trying to warm you up if you're up north in some frigid temperatures I'm doing the best I can to keep you warm here taking you for a little beach walk Earlier we met some of our followers and friends from Canton, Ohio. They came out to the beach to introduce themselves. It's amazing how many people from up north, especially the Midwest, wind up down here in Naples or have relatives down here, parents. But it's so cool when I get to meet some of our followers in person. That's what I love about social media, how it just brings the world, just makes the world smaller. When you use it for the right things, it's amazing. This water, just gorgeous. You see the reflections down there on the bottom in between the waves? here where it's a little deeper.
absolutely beautiful. Just looking to the north. Now we're looking to the north east. I just can't resist taking a couple photos now and then. Just to document my mornings out here and to repost later. And I also use the photos to repost the link, to post the link for the replay of the video, or you can watch it on YouTube. Sometimes it's a little better quality on YouTube. Every once in a while we have some connection problems during the live feed, but the replay is usually a little better on YouTube than on Facebook. Not all the time, but most of the time. Something I love. Look, I just love taking pictures of. I got them back up here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These little ripples in the sand. I just love those. The way the sunlight hits them. Just love those little ripples. make for interesting pictures you gotta get the light hitting him just right and that's these little ripples are made by the, the waves as the tide goes out look at these that's really cool looking there. That is really neat looking. Well, the sun's starting to go back in here. Darn it. It looks like it might pop right back out here. A few thin clouds over here. Pop right back out. That is so cool looking, those patterns right there. difference from when we started walking this morning huh what a difference absolutely gorgeous just me taking pictures again Tide's definitely starting to come back in here. Have a safe trip.
stores are going to open yep. up. You want to go to Marco Island. Oh, there you go. I'll see you online. All right. Thanks yeah. again. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye-bye now. Some of our followers from Ohio. That is so neat. Scott and Heather from Canton, Ohio. Great people. Here's a neat little piece of worm rock. A neat little piece of worm rock that was sitting there. This is pretty common. You find all different sized pieces of this worm rock on the beach from little golf ball size pieces to pieces the size of a football once in a while. Worm rock. No moon shells this morning. There's no shark eyes. There's a broken one. Might be as close as we get to one. It's an nautica. A nautica shell. That might be as close as we get to a moon shell today. We'll see. got down here. Oh. Little olive shell. Little olive. Lots of little olive shells out here this morning. There's a little moon shell, I think. Oh, almost. Piece of one. Piece of another nautica, darn it. Almost a whole one. Darn it. Those are beautiful little shells. dolphin this morning. Darn it. It's not a surprise. Low tide. They tend to stay out in deeper water during low tide. There's a little tiny conch. back here. Whoops. Florida fighting cop. Very common, common shell. There's a little moon shell. Oh, broken one again, darn it. The shark eye. It's got a chip in it there. I don't know what this is over here. Oh, looks like a piece of a worm shell. Might have been a worm shell. Lots of them around here, the wormies. What else? There's been quite a few people out here shelling this morning. But I'm sure they missed a few things here and there. 
Yeah, I can't find them all. There we go. There's a beautiful little nautica shell. See what I mean? No matter how many people walk by, you just can't see everything when you're walking. You gotta really take your time. Especially with these little shells. They get flipped upside down or something or half buried. That's when people don't see them. Oh, we gotta straighten up here. <laughs> straighten up the old back. Old age. out there looking out that's looking down out, out to the southwest panning around to the south it's supposed to rain later today so get out get your beach time in early if you want to go go to the beach today in southwest florida here's a fun little shell a lot of you will recognize it some of our new friends here turkey wing shell nicknamed the turkey wing for obvious reasons the turkey wing shell else because everyone walked right by. Nothing jumping out at me. Lots of little pieces of finger coral down here. It's kind of sad to see the coral washed up on the beach. That means our coral reefs are slowly dying. That's a piece of finger coral. Wait, did you see the sunrise yesterday? There goes some pelicans. Did you see the sunrise yesterday morning? Did you watch yesterday morning's video? I got to come out for sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful sunrise yesterday. Beautiful sunrise this morning. I pulled off the side of the road early this morning, got a picture of it, shared it. Gorgeous sunrise. I don't know, four days ago maybe it was, out here we saw a bald eagle. We usually see ospreys here, but we've got to see a bald eagle several days ago. It was actually perched up on top of that pine tree down there. That was quite a magnificent sight. You just never know what we're gonna come across during these morning beach walks. Every morning is something different. Every once in a while, we don't see much of anything, but usually we see something interesting. Just when it's gonna happen, you never know.
first thing during our beach walk this morning when we got out onto the sandbar, there was an osprey out there, an osprey on the sandbar. Usually we see the ospreys in the pine trees, but this morning we got a glimpse of an osprey out on the sandbar taking a drink of water. That was pretty cool. That was different. Every once in a while we'll catch an osprey on the beach, but usually we see them up in the trees. You always you have to remember when you walk the beaches to always look up. Don't just be looking out in the water for dolphins and along the beach for shells. Remember to look up in the trees for the birds. Wow. Is it? Nope, it's got a chip in it. Darn it. Beautiful little crown conch. Beautiful little crown conch. It's got a big chip in it though, darn it. I was excited to see that. I thought I might have found a nice little crown. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. There's a nice little olive shell. That's a nice point on it. Many times when you find the olives, the point is broken off. That's a nice little olive shell. Slowly walking north up towards Wiggins Pass. We started down in Area 2 this morning and then walked down to Area 1 and turned around. So we covered quite a bit of territory on this morning's walk. Saw that neat osprey. We saw some sand dollars this morning down in area one. Quite a few little sand dollars out on the sandbar. We met two of our followers from Ohio. That was cool. Two of our beach friends that, are, that were just down here for the holiday weekend. That was cool. There's so many great people that come out to the beach here. I mean, it truly is a little community here. Roy and I used to call it, well, we still do. He's just not here. We call it our country club. God's little country club out here at Del Norwegans. And I've been doing these beach walks now. I think it's coming up on three years. I met Tons of wonderful people, not just out here on the beach, but also right here on Facebook. Tons of wonderful people. We've all gone through good times and bad times together. And that is one of the things that these beach walks are about. It's about bringing people together, making new friends. If you're going through a tough time, share it with our friends here. I know there's several of our friends here that are homebound. They actually live in remote locations. And this is their way of socializing, so please, please socialize. It is called social media. Another beautiful little olive shell. Look at that. Nice little colors. Beautiful little colors on that. That little olive. You know, something else that... 
so it just makes, gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Well, there's a little snowy egret while I'm talking. Um, a lot of people watching these videos have never been to the beach before in their life and may never get to the beach. This is the closest that they've ever gotten to a beach and maybe the closest they ever will get to a beach. That is really neat. Little birdie's gonna catch something. This little snowy leader is gonna catch a fish or not here. Every once in a while, we'll see him catch something. I saw some little fish out there. Our park rangers is coming up behind me. Hey Wally, one of our volunteers, that's Wally, one of our park volunteers. They're always looking for volunteers out here, all of our parks. There's a look, lots of little scallops, we have lots of little scallops on our beach. I didn't pick any up today. Might as well pick one up and show it to you. This is a beautiful little scallop here. Get the sand off it. Beautiful colors there. Beautiful little scallop shell. You can find these in different shapes and colors. Beautiful little scallop. Here's a big old cockle shell. You know what? like a perfect shell to hang on one of these trees up here. I'm gonna hang it on the branch of this tree sticking out over the water. I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of our shells got knocked over. Our shells, our trees got knocked over in Hurricane Irma. You can see them up here laying over. We had some beautiful trees along the beach and they were just covered with shells. But people, They'll take a shell like this. This is a nice one here. This is an old cockle shell. They'll hang it up on a branch here on one of these trees out by the water. Sometimes, sometimes they'll say a prayer for someone. Sometimes they'll make a wish. But a lot of times people hang these shells in memory of a loved one who's passed away. You can see there's another one above it there. So that cockle shell right there That is for all of you watching. They can't make it out to the beach to hang a shell in person. That shell is for you guys. For whatever reason you want, for a loved one that's passed. But that shell's for you. Anyone you know that's feeling sick, that's for them. As a matter of fact, let's just, I'm just going to give you one minute here. If you have somebody that you lost, that you love over the holidays, that you miss, if you want to say a little prayer for them, take a minute here. Amen. I know one of our friends, Sharon, lost her husband not too long ago. There's not much beach left up here, as you can see here. We're up at the north end now at Wiggins Pass.
other day a dolphin came by up here. The water is a lot deeper up here, so mm, you never know. I might see one out here. These are all the trees that got knocked over during Hurricane Irma here. These were just covered with seashells. Not anymore. It's looking north there across Wiggins Pass. friend Steve there with his metal detector looking for some buried treasure yeah well, the sun has gone in behind the clouds again gosh darn it Came out for a little while. It was absolutely beautiful. Now it's gone back in behind the clouds. And the colors aren't as vibrant as they are when that sun's out. But we've just about walked the entire beach here today at Del Norwegans. A mile of beach. roughly a mile. Now we're up the very north end of the park. Maybe we'll find a couple more little shells. You never know, interesting little shells. There's, oh, nope. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll find something. There's been a lot of people out now. There's been a lot of people up here shelling. But they do miss things. You can't find everything. Wow, that looks like a big piece of a broken moon shell here. Yep, big piece of a shark eye shell, a broken shark eye moon shell. I heard people call them cat's eyes. There's an olive shell with the tip missing. Now, one of my friends that's a kind of a shell expert, she told me that other shells actually do that. They drill, they actually can drill into another shell and get in and they eat the animal that's inside the shell. There's predator shells that do that. That's what our friend Barbara Grove taught us. Kind of interesting. That's kind of neat when they have the holes in them. Easy, makes it easy to hang on a chain. That's an olive shell. We picked up a couple olive shells this morning. Let's see if I can find one here. There's an olive shell with the, the tip on the end. Well, there goes our connection. It never fails up here at the north end of the park. The connection gets weak and the picture gets fuzzy. But remember, you can always watch this video on YouTube, a better quality version of it, a replay. And I will share the link on Facebook. Usually I post some pictures and I include the link to YouTube in those photos. See if the connection comes back. Just bear with me. It has nothing to do with the camera. There we go. It's just the cellular connection out here. There's no Wi Fi.
not seeing much of anything down here. Some fishermen out here. This is where, this is this end of the park, the North End, Area 5 it's called. Wiggins Pass is where you're allowed to come out and fish. You're not allowed to fish in other parts of the beach. That's for swimming only. And no swimming allowed up at the North End here. Just fishing. Gosh, I really thought we would have found a murex or two out here, a murex shell or two. Nope. What a big whelk over there. Big old broken whelk shell. Some fighting conks that somebody put up on the beach. Wow. Look at that old whelk. That's an old lightning whelk. Wow. Look at the size of that. Wow. That's huge. Huge. That is a big old shell there. Big old lightning well. Wow. at the point here. They're all broken. Uh, they're all busted up. <laughs> lots and lots of fighting conch shells up there. Barefoot Beach over there on the other side of Wiggins Pass. Well, time to turn around and start walking back down to where we started from. It's quite a hike. <laughs> we started down in area two. Made our way down to area one. Turned around, came all the way up to area five here. Now the clouds have come in again. You gonna get lucky and catch a dolphin on the way back? Maybe see a dolphin or two? You never know. Hey, good morning. We are live on Facebook. Walking the beach. Every day. Yep. Every day. Yep. And thousands and thousands of people watch <laughs> as we walk the beach. <laughs> Can you blame them?
as I was saying earlier before, this is the closest to the beach that a lot of people ever get. That just blows my mind growing up in Florida. I've just grown up with the beach and I've always enjoyed it, never took it for granted. It's one of God's great gifts to us. Believe it or not, there's people that live in Florida that never take advantage of these beaches. Hard to believe, isn't it? Another look to the north here. So sad, all these dead trees. Those two palm trees used to just make the perfect photograph before they died when you, they just framed it in when you look to the north there. Hurricane Irma beat them to death, along with these other, all these sea grape trees piled up here. Mm. That was terrible. I'm going to hop up on the trail here, instead of walking out in the water. Just take a shortcut around. Good morning family portraits done out on the beach. Look at all the trees piled up from Hurricane Irma. Sad, sad. All the beach that's got washed away. Look at it. Pretty big drop off there. We've lost so many trees up here and so much beach. As I step into the water here, it has really cooled down a lot. I really don't know what the official water temperature is right now here. How's the hunting going today? Oh, it's better yesterday. I found a gold piece yesterday. Oh, wow. Today, so I just, my batteries are low. Ah. Uh, we'll find it tomorrow. Leave it here, leave it here for the night. There you go. <laughs> He's found some pretty interesting things over the years here. He found a big can full of coins one day. That was kind of cool. No old treasure yet, though. Oh, there's our little snowy eager friend still hanging out up here. Passed by him on the way up the beach, him or her. Good 
morning. How are you doing? You're watching me? Uh. Oh well, say hi to every Hello. say hi to yourself. <laughs> where where are you from? From here or? we live here now. Oh sweet. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet. That's we awesome. wanna find the piece of what is that wooden where was the wooden thing in the water at? That was all the way down in one. We'll have to drive. Like, I don't know what it is. We'll have to go check it out. You it was like a there? solid piece of awesome. wood, but it looks like old trees, but it's like a solid mass that awesome. just first time I ever saw it. Yeah, too. I definitely want to check it out. All right. Thanks for inspiring us to get out of bed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> even right. though it's not sunny out, yeah, it's still like nice. It's yeah, nice it's day. nicer when it's yeah, like this. It All right, ladies, Happy have a good time. Bye. Yep. <laughs> Some more Facebook friends. I love it. See, that's what these beach walks are about. See, it inspired somebody to come out and come to the beach. Earlier, I was just talking about how people don't come out and enjoy the beach, especially people that live right here. You know, minutes from the beach, they don't come out and enjoy it. Well, those two ladies, here they are. They were watching the beach walk, and it motivated them to come out and enjoy the beach. How many days ago? I'm think I'm guess I'm thinking it was four days ago maybe. What would that have been? The day before Thanksgiving, not quite sure. But up in the top of that pine tree, right there, there was a bald eagle. And I always not always, but when I'm talking about the birds, the different birds you you'll see at the beach, the ospreys, the herons, the egrets, the pelicans. The seagulls, the sandpipers, actually cardinals. We have cardinals here in the woods and robins and blue jays and mockingbirds. Not just, everything doesn't happen here. This is a park. It doesn't all happen on the beach. Got to remember to walk that nature trail back there once in a while. See the gopher tortoises, raccoons, and who knows, maybe an armadillo. <laughs> used to actually be bears back in the old days here before they built all these condos there used to be bears and panthers back here sad we just ran them out but I always when I'm talking about the birds I always say and every once in a while you'll see a bald eagle and lo and behold we just saw one four days ago so that was kind of cool see lots of ospreys a lot of people get confused when they see an osprey they just because it has kind of a white head they think it's a bald eagle but if you look at an osprey and a bald eagle together you'll see huge differences between the two the bald eagle is much much bigger good morning and the osprey, speaking of ospreys, we saw one of those in the beginning of our beach walk early this morning when we first walked out into the water under the sandbar. There was an osprey out on the sandbar taking a drink. We usually see them in the trees. Every once in a while we do catch them on the beach, taking a little stroll. Morning. This is, we're walking south now, up in North Naples, walking south along the beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. An overcast day today, expecting some rain later today. The good news is there's no red tide here. The water is nice and clean, no red tide. It's a very good thing. Now we're looking up to the north. 
Way up there is Fort Myers Beach. Hello, Carolyn, one of the beach sisters. <laughs> Great people. Hey, I'm gonna say something here. A lot of you get tired of hearing me say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. Very important. Very important to keep the phone on to do these beach walks. If you do want to make a little donation, you can find the link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. To those of you that have sent a little something, like Carolyn, thank you. Thank you so much. We did not find a whole lot of shells today. Yesterday or today, we're not big shelling mornings. We had a couple of great shelling mornings right in a row. Then it kind of fizzled out. There's a little worm shell though. A little worm shell. Really hoping to see a dolphin come by this morning. The tide's starting to come back in now. It was low tide when we started. Hi. Good morning, how are you doing? Is there any other place on the internet where you can come and walk the beach? Tag along with me walking the beach for an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. I enjoy having you walking along with me. That's for sure. It's another one of our little snowy egrets. He said, the heck with you, Rob. What right, we got down? A oh, broken, broken moon shell, piece of a moon shell. Well, we didn't find much of anything today. Everything we picked up was broken. All the nice shells, the moon shell. Saw a huge whelk, had a big hole in it. Good? <laughs> you too. There's an old tulip, piece of an old tulip shell. Hey, do you recognize this spot right here? Right here under these trees? Who knows where we're at? 
Roy's Beach, Area 4. This is where Roy would hunker down here and we'd have our little conversations under these trees. I'm so looking forward to him coming back and doing that again. We did have a nice little conversation the other day, Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed that. All of Roy's friends. I know you all miss him. Everybody's always wondering how he's doing. As you can tell from that video, he's in good spirits, always happy, keeping himself occupied. Water is gorgeous. It's hard to see now because the sun's not out. Earlier we got some really good looks at the water. Absolutely beautiful. Now you can't really tell. You can see it's clear. You can see the bottom. It's just not the same without the sun being up there. If you see that boat out there heading down to the south, you can definitely hear it. Not a lot of boats out today. Pretty overcast out here this morning. It's supposed to rain a little later today. Chance of showers, hit and miss, sporadic showers. It's one of my favorite spots up there. One of them. I got several favorite little spots along the beach, but I wish the sun was out. It's so much prettier, but I just love standing here 
and watching these waves come in over the sandbar, just breaking over the sandbar. Just listening to them, it's just so peaceful. So nice to see people out here enjoying the beach. I think I appreciate it more just because we had such a rough summer here with the red tide. There were months, months where this beach was empty. Nothing but dead fish on the beach. Horrible. Let's hope those days are over. We had a great walk this morning. Whether we see dolphins, whether we find shells, it doesn't matter. It's always nice just to walk the beach and clear your mind. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Do tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. get paid to do this if anybody wants to make a little contribution it's always appreciated you can find the link to my paypal account in the description of this post right here every bit little bit helps and those that have sent something thank you so much we'll have a wonderful saturday enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend play it safe have fun, but be safe. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.